Hey there, welcome to the Random Review Channel. So on the bench today, this here little lifesaver, a satellite finder. Now this one here is Conig Electronic. There's millions of these here um, available, different brands, uh, manufacturers um, on Amazon. This here is one of the best sellers and I can see why. So now this one's stinking. I've used this here quite a bit. Um, uh, I recently bought a uh, new box, uh, an open box VHS it was. Um, and I was using this here to set it up, and more recently than that, there I've been it's been in my garage, and I've been doing a lot of woodworking, so it's a bit stinking, <sighs> but anyway, it works. So I'll just explain how these here work. Um, I don't have a live test here, so I'll just try and be as concise as possible. So we'll go through it, um, the sort of the the physical attributes of it first, and then we'll go on to the functionality. So overall, it's a uh, quite a sort of cheapy plastic to be honest. It's a shiny plastic finish. Um, it's not sort of reinforced, there's no fibre reinforced, and I don't think it's pretty sort of tinny, but anyway, um, the front of it has a little dial on it, which we'll get to in a minute, and then inside we have the little sort of uh, dial, the, it's not a digital one, it's an analogue one this here, so it's not as if there's a, a digital meeting, a reading on it. We have two uh, inputs, or technically an input and an output uh, on it for our LMB connectors, or screw-in connectors. Um, which are on the sort of the back of sky boxes and they're very very common connectors um so how this works then so there's this little kickstand on it as well which i don't know why you would really need it and what scenario you would use that for because most people are usually using this here hanging off the top of a ladder um connecting this in between the lmb so pretty much the way this works um so when you're putting your aerial up your your antenna up or your aerial actually but um, when you're putting up your area or your satellite dish, sorry, uh, I'm tongue tied. So we connect this here, and on the back there is a two LMB and a two REC. Okay, so this here bit here. So what I usually use this for, I have a little small length of cable which uh, has an LMB connector on that end, and then an LMB connector that screws into here, and it's about a foot long, and I keep that then. And then the cable that I've ran from my box, whatever it is, a sky box or an open box or whatever kind of box you're using, um, a free sat box, um, runs up and it has the connector which will eventually go in straight into your LMB on your satellite dish. But in the meantime, uh, it's just hanging loose out of the LMB. So um, in line then, uh, we have the feed then from your box goes into this. My little cable, the little sort of pigtail cable comes out of this and I screw the end of this then onto one of the inputs of my LMB. When I'm moving my dish about, so you can use your phone, there is apps you can get for it to find uh, if it's Astro, whatever sort of satellite you're looking for, to get you in the rough area. And then basically uh, what I would suggest when you're using this is to do it um, on two axes first. So do it on the horizontal axis. So in other words, your dish is gonna move this way, uh, left and right, left and right on the same vertical pane. And then once you've got it aligned and this the meter is given out what I'm about to explain, then I would do the vertical axis. So tilt your dish up and down. So the way this works, finally. So on here, we basically have a sensitivity gauge. Okay, so we can turn this here to two, four or six or minus two, minus four, minus six. So I would suggest turning this here down to probably minus four to minus two um, to get a reading. And what we can do then is we can set this here we move our dish around until this here needle creeps up and when it creeps up to a certain level it'll start making a really high pitched sort of squeaking noise um, and that means that it's picking up a satellite signal and the closer you get to pointing your dish at the signal the higher this here will go and it'll go to 10 and it'll squeak really loudly so once it does that then we can turn down the sensitivity sorry if you started at six that there's the most sensitive sorry i should have said that uh, not minus numbers. So starting off at the highest number six. So this here will go up to ten and be squealing like a pig. Um, then what you can do is we gradually turn this dial down and the little notch down until the needle drops down and it's just about stops making the squealing noise. Okay. Then it's back to your dish and we move the dish from side to side until we can get it squealing again on the horizontal plane and we keep doing this until. Uh, once we get that, then we turn it down slightly, move it around, turn it down, and it's basically fine-tuning the dish on the horizontal axis until we've put it in the place, which was the last place we heard it uh, beeping, okay? And no matter sort of where we do, we, we turn it up, 
uh, and that we've discovered that that there is the best place and it's the faintest sort of beep we can get but if we move it anymore it doesn't beep at all so you know that that's it set on the horizontal plane and then we do the same process and move the dish up and down slightly turn it up until it starts to beep move it about if it stops beeping then we've moved it away from the strongest signal if it starts beeping we know that it's on the strongest signal and we can mess about with this little dial until we've locked it in on the horizontal axis and also the vertical axis and then you tighten up your screws once you've tightened up your screws we unscrew this here unscrew the other end from the lmb screw this end directly into the lmb and that is your satellite dish sit set for whatever satellite you were trying to find so for instance if it's like astra 28 for instance uh it could be whatever if you're looking for sort of more sort of further field channels um, and you're sort of trying to hook on to uh, different satellites that's fine but the most common one here would be the astra sort of satellites the sky satellites for instance um brilliant little device um you can get ones that are a lot more money and will actually show you you know sort of a picture from the channel that you, you have it set to once you get in in sort of range but for this sort of money, it's cheap as chips, six, seven quid, whatever this was. If you're doing it yourself and you don't want to pay somebody to do it, this little device is an absolute lifesaver. Make yourself up a little pigtail, get up a ladder and give us a go yourself. It'll save you a fortune in the long run. So I hope you like this review and thanks for watching.